offices to Jamala Del, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto allow you to use your phone instead of car's infotainment system. There are a growing number of car makers that support wireless connectivity, but some still require wired connection for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. By the way, I'm using for Taurus car infotainment system. This is the fourth version of the Wi-Fi 2 wireless CarPlay and Android Auto accessory from CarLinkit. Let's do an unboxing and see what's inside the box. Basically, it plugs into your car infotainment system, so you don't have to plug your phone each time when you get in. Its new version has been released. How does it perform? Let's find out. There is nothing bulky or uncomfortable about the CarLinket 4.0 and it should fit comfortably in any car. Carbon fiber makes up the shell and it has two USB ports, a USB-A port at one and a USB-C port at the other side. Basically, the device needs to be plugged in and its Bluetooth connection set up. All the rest should be automatic like when you are asked to enable Android Auto on your Android phone. Once the Android phone is connected to the car touchscreen through Bluetooth and CarLinkit 4.0 has been set up, it works reasonably well. With the Android Auto, you can use the features of your Android phone while driving. The features of your phone can be controlled via voice commands, steering wheel buttons or your car touchscreen. It is compatible with many popular apps including Facebook, Zoom and WhatsApp and we have a lot of games as well. With CarLinkit 4.0, you can convert your head unit's wired CarPlay functionality into wireless CarPlay. As soon as you connect the device, you can present it with the login screen and you must pair your phone with the CarLinkit device, then follow the prompt on your phone. Using the CarLinkit device, your iPhone can be connected to the touch screen in a matter of minutes. To my surprise, it works perfectly with multiple phones previously paired. You can choose previous phones from a list that appears in the beginning. Nevertheless, it works successfully after a few minutes. It's safer and smarter to use your iPhone while you drive with Apple CarPlay. With the app, you can get directions, make phone calls, send and receive messages and listen to your favorite music. In your Apple CarPlay dashboard, you can now browse through more apps categories and use different apps. As soon as it is connected, however, it performs extremely well. The responsiveness of Apple CarPlay to touch was actually surprising and I never had a dropout after I first connected. There is a possibility that the device relies on 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz connections for improved connectivity. With CarLinkit, you can easily hide your adopter in a dashboard thanks to its lightweight design, manage multiple phones well and connects easily on every setup. Now I'm testing whether CarLinkit works automatically after restarting the infotainment system.
I found the connection to be just as responsive as a wired one and it was actually faster than most other CarPlay wireless connections I have used. The Ford Taurus 2023 model comes with the built-in Apple CarPlay. Does the Apple CarPlay has the fast and responsive interface? Using the Apple CarPlay with the iPhone 12 Pro, the phone is connected successfully with the touchscreen after a few seconds. See how it performs on the video. The CarLinkit 4.0 is absolutely worth considering if you want the convenience of Android Auto and Apple CarPlay without upgrading your head unit. In my opinion, Ford Taurus CarPlay is much faster than CarLinkit CarPlay as compared to the wired CarPlay with the wireless CarPlay. However, CarLinkit 4.0 is quite useful as you can use Android Auto and Apple CarPlay in one touch screen and its buying price is $89.99 and you can find the buying links in the video description. If you are interested in smartphone gimbal for vlogging then click on this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in this video.